leave us with one final bit of advice to the young guys out there, the young gals that, that maybe would like to follow in your footsteps to, to be a driver? I mean, you're doing four different aspects of it. Um, what would that advice be to get started? Or, or is this a possibility, a dream? Something happened last night in, in, our, in our elections that nobody thought would ever happen. So the dreams are very possible. And in your sport to the kids out there, what can you say to them? Well, it's a unique time, really, to be choosing a career and developing yourself. And uh, because you do get to make a choice, you get to take whatever dream you had when you're 16 years old and you get to make it your living. And in motorsports, I mean, literally five years ago, I was the guy trying to figure out how to make a dollar, stop spending my own money. I didn't have a lot of money. And um, the way that I found uh, a path to, you know, get into the business of motorsport anyway, which is a constantly evolving thing, is through drifting. And, and when you go to drift events and, and, and uh, amateur drift events, really these are, you're, you're dealing with sponsors with a, on a person to person basis. A lot of people are like, I wanna score the big, you know, rock star sponsorship and I wanna score the big money sponsor, but you're dealing with a human being. And, and so if you can present yourself in a trustworthy kind of a way, and uh, on the track, don't spin and hit the cones. You know, when you're practicing, take your practice seriously from a professional way and look trustworthy in your car. And off the track, um, present yourself a little bit professionally and even do some of that person's job for them. Line up the photos and the press releases and and uh, let that marketing manager know that you're going to make them look good. And uh, that is, it's a unique place in drifting where you can just have those simple steps and actually start making money at the sport. It's uh, Wow, is this an info? It's turned into an infomercial now, hasn't you, you it? You know what, though? <laughs> that's advice that uh, you could you could bottle up and sell it because uh, that's a lot of hard work of advice that you've gained over the years. Thanks for spending time with us and, and, and sharing the insight. Yeah, good luck to you.